Gather round, and listen well, for I am Hulegukon, a name that shall be remembered in the annals of history as the one who carried forth the legacy of my forefathers and etched it deeper into the heart of civilization. I am the grandson of the mighty Genghis Khan, the brother of Kublai Khan, and the architect of the Mongol conquest of the Islamic world. My story is one of power, blood, and relentless expansion, where I brought the fury of the Mongol horde to the gates of Baghdad and beyond. My origins are rooted in the golden lineage of Genghis Khan. Born into the Borjijin clan, I was raised in the traditions of the steppe, where survival was won through strength and cunning. My grandfather, Genghis Khan, had already carved out the largest contiguous empire the world had ever seen, but it was my destiny to push the boundaries even further, to bring the crescent of Islam under Mongol rule. When my brother, Mount Khan, ascended to the throne as the great Khan, he entrusted me with a monumental task, to conquer the lands of Persia, Mesopotamia, and beyond. With an army of fearsome warriors at my command, I set out on a campaign that would see the fall of some of the most powerful cities and civilizations of the time. The Abbasid Caliphate in Baghdad, a beacon of the Islamic world, was my primary target. It was a city steeped in wealth, knowledge, and power, a city that had stood for centuries. But it was no match for the might of the Mongol horde. In 1258, I led my forces in the siege of Baghdad, a campaign that would forever change the course of history. We surrounded the city, cutting off all hope of escape. The Caliph, Al-Mustasim, believed that his city was invincible, that no force could breach its walls. He was wrong. We stormed Baghdad, tearing down its defenses with the fury of a thousand storms. The city fell, and with it, the heart of the Islamic Golden Age was ripped out. The streets ran red with the blood of those who dared to resist, and the libraries, filled with the knowledge of centuries, were reduced to ashes. This was the price of defiance. But my conquest did not stop there. I pushed onward, bringing the regions of Persia, Azerbaijan, and Syria under Mongol control. The house of Hulegu, the Ilkhanate, was established, a new branch of the Mongol Empire that would rule these lands for generations. My victories were not just victories of arms, but of strategy and diplomacy. I forged alliances, manipulated rivals, and ensured that the legacy of Genghis Khan was felt far beyond the steppes of Mongolia. Yet, my role in the legacy of the Khans was not just about conquest. It was about expanding the horizons of our empire, about establishing Mongol dominance in a world that had once believed itself untouchable. My achievements were the foundations upon which future generations would build, ensuring that the name of Hulegu Khan would be remembered not just as a conqueror, but as a pivotal force in the shaping of the Mongol Empire. So, remember my name, Hulegu Khan, as the one who brought the fury of the Mongols to the heart of the Islamic world, who shattered the illusion of invincibility, and who ensured that the legacy of the Khans would live on in the lands of the West. My achievements are carved in stone and blood, and they will echo through the ages as a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Mongol people.